Willie ran that 44-27 at the conference meet, made it look easy, like he had been doing it all year. And Ryan Willie is out to a great start. An interesting schedule for the Florida Gators outdoors. They only competed three times before they got into the championship season. That just shows that they are fresh coming in to the regionals and then the NCAA championships, and they will have fresh legs going into the U.S. championships in a few weeks' time as well. Willie is dominating at this point. Here comes Jones, though, in lane six. Remember, first two across the line, automatically qualifying through to Friday. It's Willie looking in control. Here comes Jones. Down in lane three, the Christopher Bailey of Arkansas trying to make a race of it, but Jones is going to be overtaken right at the tape. There's a freshman mistake. Emmanuel Bynum of Tennessee saw an opening, said, I want that second automatic qualifier, and he dips in there and gets it. Now Jones has to wait to see if his time from this first heat holds up as one of the three automatic, excuse me, I should say, time qualifiers that will get into the final. Well, Ryan Willie just makes running the 400 look so easy. Look at his face, look at his arms. He doesn't ever look like he's in any kind of distress at all. Certainly different technique than the two guys behind him, but a nice run on the outside by Emmanuel Bynum, the 200 meter specialist who's bumped up to 400 meters this season and really taken control of that race for the Tennessee Volunteers. So Willie and Bynum automatically through Jones just a hundredth of a second back at that time. A good chance that he will make it through. That was a pretty stacked heat. Christopher Bailey down there for Arkansas at 45-55. He probably has to sweat it a little bit more over these next two heats. Got to run all the way through the line. Remember my high school coach telling our 400 and 800 meter runners that. Heat number two, getting ready. That is Elijah Godwin of Georgia, who has just a ton of international experience, won a gold medal as part of the successful men's 4x400 relay at the World Championships in Eugene last year, and then won a bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Tokyo as part of the mixed 4x4 relay, debuting at those Olympics. He has an Olympic medal back for another year, his final year at Georgia. Well, his times were not spectacular, but he came alive at the SEC in the SEC prelims and was second, second behind Ryan Willie. But there we get a chance to see Arizona State senior Debem Wachukwa. He's really come alive this season as well. Last two seasons, Dion Miller, Dion Miller said he's been working with him on his race strategy. Arizona State comes here with three really good quarter milers. There you see Jamali Felix just on the inside get to qualify, and then Justin Robinson will go in the next heat. Felix from Grenada, same country as Karani James, Olympic champion from the 2012 Olympic Games. There is Godwin. He has a little unorthodox running style. Knees don't come up a lot, but boy, does he turn them over. And he knows how to manage his effort in the rounds as well. So Lechukwu of Arizona State in five. And then Elijah Godwin in seven. Godwin has a couple of athletes to his outside to key off of early. There you see Godwin has gone out fast. He always, he likes to go out quick. But the question is, how good a shape? What is his conditioning like? And what does he look like in that last 100 meters? He was the NCAA and SEC indoor champion at 400 meters. But runner up at the outdoor meet, managing very, very well, about as well as I've ever seen him manage his effort in a full 400 outdoors. Nice lead. Now here comes Wachuku, trying to get that second spot. Now you see a tough time for Godwin to get his knees up, but he will win the heat. Wachuku will get second, so those are your automatic qualifiers, 44-74. And that's just four tenths of a second off his lifetime, best for the distance. So God went through easily to the final. Well, and you see this last 100 meters, when the way he pushes that first 250, the way he pushes that first 300, you know he's gonna struggle down the home straight, but if he could get his knees up, he could loosen up just a little bit. He'd make that last 100 meters that much easier on himself. But you see he's not in any major distress. We've certainly seen him rock and roll a little bit more, but 40, 40, 44, 74, not only was it a managed run, it was an extremely fast time. 
correct it to 44.73. Machukwa getting second, and Javon Powell at 45.02. That's a very good time. It probably will advance on time with one heat remaining. And John Anders is down with Elijah Godwin. Dwight, I told him I'd make this as smooth and as easy as he made it look in his semifinal. I just want you to assess the race in those 400 meters. I mean, today it's about surviving and advancing. So, reading out how the race is going, pushing when I need to push, and shutting it down when I need to. It was a great race, great time. And I think it's going to set up for a really good race tomorrow. How does running the SEC in that 400 set you up for this thing? I mean, it all come together. It's like every race, you're just trying to put it together better and better. And um, it's great to have competition like that because it prepares you for meets like this. Very good. Good luck. We'll see you in the four by four. Yeah, Dwight, he's going to have a lot of familiar faces in that final. Yeah, no question about that. It's already happened as we have one more heat remaining. Godwin is through with a fine time. He'll get a good lane draw off of that time as we get ready for the third and final semifinal heat of these 400 meters. And this heat will feature the third Arizona State Sun Devil, sophomore Justin Robinson. He'll start in lane number six. Well, Justin Robinson, one of the top recruits in the country back in 2019. Thought he might just go directly to the pros, but COVID hit and kind of stalled his plans a little bit, but he ends up at Arizona State University, his second full season at ASU. The U.S. Indoor Champion came back a couple weeks later. It was, I guess it was less than two weeks to the NCAA Championships and did not fare as well, but he's been struggling with a little bit of a hamstring injury, but he got through the Pac-12 Championships, got through regionals, and his coach Dion said, Dion Miller said he is feeling much better here. And we got a couple of Oklahoma Sooners in the race as well, just to the inside. Richard Johnson, he was the runner-up in the 400 meters of the Big 12 Championships and the winner of the Big 12 Championships in lane four, Zarek Brown. There are the lane assignments. Johnson in five, Robinson in six. Emmanuel Bamadeli out there in lane seven, not to be discounted. He will be a good rabbit for Robinson and Johnson. So very even here in this first 100 meters. A little bit of a move out there by Raheem Hales of North Carolina A&T, making up the stagger on Charles Sanders to his outside. Bamadeli covers that move. Johnson lagging a bit there. It's his teammate, Zarek Brown, who is doing better for the Sooners. Robinson comes off the term with a little bit of a lead, but Bobadelli is right there. And coming back is Raheem Hales of North Carolina A&T, but he's going to run out of room. Robinson's going to win it, followed by Bamadelli. These Florida Gators are really coming through when it's needed. 